direction. Right, so, all right, here we are on the anterior surface, right, of the brain, and we're going to see two cranial nerve number two, which is the optic, off the diencephalon. We're going to see three, the ocular motor, off the anterior peduncle, so midbrain. Four comes off the posterior midbrain, right, the trochlear. Five off the lateral pons, what's trigeminal, right? Six, you got to go medial and inferior, right? So that's the abducens. Seven, we're going lateral on the pond still, so that's going to be the facial. Eight, it appears next to seven, but it's really off the medulla, and that's the vestibular cochlear. Nine's off the medulla, the glossopharyngeal. Ten, off the medulla, this is the vagus, and I'm going to jippy. Well, all right, 11's down here off the cervical spine. The accessory, the accessory. It comes up, all right? And then hypoglossal 12 is between the olive and the pyramid. Have you ever seen anything on the dominant going across the dominant? Now, so we said anterior. What are these big bulging structures in the medulla? Olive. No, that is olive. That's right. Oh, that's the olive. The relay station for the proprioception coming up. Sensory from the muscles, tendons, Joint capsules, right? Pyramids. The pyramids. The pyramids. pyramids are all what? Anterior fibers on the cord are what? Coming up or going down? Coming up and down. And the posterior is going up. And there's some laterals that go up and down, but the anterior is safe for the motor. Which you now is coming down from the brain. Right? They start up in the cerebrum, go through the peduncles, come out at the medulla as the pyramids, and then they cross over. What do we call the crossing of the branch? Desiccation. Desiccation. Yeah, they desiccate, they switch so that the right side of the motor cortex operates the left side of the body and the left side operates the right side because of the desiccation. So that's the anterior, right? Bumps. And what are the posterior bumps called? Yeah, let's get them back together here. All right, here we go. So, what are these? What are these ridges? See these ridges? Posterior is part of the cord. What's coming up? The back side of the cord. No, motor's going down the anterior. Sensory coming up, right? And the dorsal horns. So we're going to have sensory from the lower extremity coming up first, and then the upper extremity is going to come join it, and it's going to be lateral to the ones that are from the lower extremity. What's the muscle um, in the middle thigh, medial thigh, that has that? Gracilis, right? So this is the um, fasciculus gracilis. Fasciculus. Oh. Fasciculus gracilis. From sensory from the lower extremity. Uh -huh. right? okay. those, those unipolar neurons that are sending fibers up for sensation. And then this would be for the upper extremity, fasciculus cuneatus. So those are the bumps. And I think we have to do those. Uh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. no? I've read it at least seven times. At least. You don't have any fasciculi? No. Check them. Oh, there's one. Uh, see? The gracilis and the canadus. They're extra credit, though. You might as well get them. So, the bigger ones were the gracilis. Well, where's the what muscles in the thigh, medial thigh? Gracilis. So, they're the inner, the inner. and the medial. Oh, okay. So, there's, there's two. There's a left and a right. Okay. Right? And then the outer ones are for the upper extremity. Doesn't that make sense? Okay. If you were coming up from the legs, Coming up sensory and the arms, would you make the arms go underneath or over top and go up the middle? No, you just come right up along the side. Like train tracks, and then come up alongside. All right? So now you know those. Gracilis and cuneus. Cuneus. Yeah. On the posterior. And then you knew what that is. The whole, what's that space called? That's the fourth ventricle. Fourth ventricle. Well, what are these? Bumps? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Those are the corpus quadrumina. Good. And the fourth, fourth, fourth ventricle? Right here, fourth ventricle. And then the Do you see any choroid? No, on this model. So what are these four bumps? Quadrigena. Corpora quadrigena. And then part of the diencephalon is the epithalamus. What's the epithalamus called? It's back here. Oh, my goodness. The pineal body? Pineal body. Oh, and if we go inside, 
you can see how it comes off the top, the epithalamus, right? And then this is called the? The thalamus. Thalamus, and that's called the? Intermediate, intermediate mass of the thalamus. And this is called the? Third ventricle. Or hypothalamus. Well, the third ventricle is here, you're right, but this is the hypothalamus, hypothalamus. underneath the thalamus. Right? So I'm hypothalamus. saying, they're going to point to one, and I'm going to be like, third ventricle. <laughs> The, if they do, you have to read the card. Okay. Because there'll be a number on the tag, and it might say, what space is this? Okay. You the know? questions do always help me the how they're worded. I'm yeah, like, okay, you got to look at the read the card. Because you get going, you're like, oh, yeah, that's the thalamus. And then you said number 16, oh, yeah, that's the hypothalamus. And you're like, no, 16 is just for the space.